An arson investigator is now looking into a fire that destroyed a structure in a pl in Placer County, I should say. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrian Moore. The two and a half acre Clipper Gap fire started this afternoon. Firefighters have the flames contained now, but are still mopping up hot spots this evening. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live in Placer County tonight. She has the latest on this investigation into what started this fire. Macy? Well, Adrian and Sam, Cal Fire and Placer County Sheriff's deputies are still on scene trying to figure out that exact thing. How did this fire start? But I have confirmed they are treating this as a possible crime scene. Families hunkering down in this parking lot after being evacuated from their homes. It's nerve wracking. I'm, I'm, I have animals up there, so I want to get up there and, um, you know, be able to get them out if I can. Clipper Gap Road closed off as firefighters battled flames in a remote area nearby. Obviously, we have to take it uh, very seriously from the get go. Lieutenant Troy Sander with Placer County Sheriff's Department says the fire started around two o'clock in a gorge on Clipper Creek Road. Fire retardant left a trail leading straight to this structure, still smoldering with live. Power lines on the ground. Contacting residents, making sure that they're actually uh, notified of the danger and, and then uh, have safely having them leave the affected area. As the firefight died down, the investigation revved up. Cal Fire and Placer County Sheriff's Department still trying to figure out what happened. Judy Crum works as a caregiver for an elderly couple just off Clipper Gap Road. It was a little concerning. Uh, they are trying to figure out what they need to have it together in case they need to go. When deputies told her she couldn't drive to the house, she decided to try it on foot. Started walking. I had a little bit of water and a little bit of battery on my phone, and thankfully, uh, Officer uh, took me the rest of the way. In a fire prone area like this, Lieutenant Sanders says crews have to be ready to access remote areas before the flames get out of hand. Uh, the when these uh, you know, events happen, that we respond quickly to that first initial attack and do whatever we can to keep residents safe. No one was injured, and Cal Fire says it appears the damage has been contained to just one property. Let me see. Thank you very much. Live for us tonight in Placer County.